Hi guys, this is going to be the start of my new series where I'm going to do four different tutorials for 5th grade, 6th grade, 7th grade, and 8th grade. And these are just looks that I think are appropriate for each grade. And they're really quick to do in the morning. They're really easy so you can get to school on time. But don't do these if your parents don't approve. Um, ultimately, just do what your parents approve of. Um, you don't want to upset them with you know, lots and lots of makeup. So this is the look that I'm going to show you today and it's very, very subtle for fifth grade because most people don't wear makeup in fifth grade, but some do and if you do, you don't want to be wearing too much. So just um, please keep watching if you want to see this look and next I'm going to do a tutorial for sixth grade. Thanks for watching guys. Um, now here is the tutorial. If you have dark circles, you might want to use a little bit of concealer, but don't use too much because then it can look cakey and settle into fine lines, which can make you look older, but not in a good way. Then I'm just going to blend it out with an Eco Tools brush, and using a concealer brush to blend out your concealer really helps prevent um, fine lines, and it distributes your concealer in a thin layer so it won't look cakey, yet it still covers really well. If you have a pimple, I would not recommend um, using a foundation or BB cream all over your face, especially in fifth grade, because if you're in fifth grade, you probably have pretty good skin, and you don't want to ruin it by using a lot of foundation. So if you have a pimple or two or three, just spot conceal them. It might take longer, but it'll help your skin in the long run because foundation can cause pimples in other areas where you might not have them if you don't wash it all off. And it is pretty hard to get all of your foundation off. So then I just took a little bit of powder. I used my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and just put a little bit over the concealer. Oh, by the way, I was using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Then I'm just curling my eyelashes. Do not do this step if you're not experienced with eyelash curling because it can be pretty dangerous. Like, I've known people who have lost some of their eyelashes because they've done it wrong and it hurts if you do it wrong. So just be careful with that. And um, some people may not wear mascara in fifth grade even if they're wearing makeup. But if you do, I would recommend do using a very, very light hand and not putting too much on because then it can look clumpy and it can be very, very noticeable if you put too much on. And then it will also flake if you put too much on. And then um, EOS is something that I think you could do in every single grade because it doesn't have any color, but it moisturizes your lips. So even in, I don't know, third grade, EOS would be a great thing since you can't even see it. Also, in fifth grade, I think it's appropriate to wear a gloss as long as it's clear or if it has a very subtle color. This one is clear and it's the Rosebud Sal Balm, I think. And, oh, it's the Smith Rose, Rosebud Salve Balm. And then I also am just showing you that you could use Paul Frank's Balm too. This is like a honey flavor and it's also clear, but you might not want to use two glosses. I'm just showing you how each one works. Okay, and there's me posing so you can see the makeup. And that is the tutorial. That is the finished makeup look, and you can see it on my face right now. And it's really natural. It just enhances your features. It doesn't, it's not like a huge mask of makeup. It's really, really subtle. Um, people probably won't even notice that you're wearing makeup. And I forgot to say that if you have unruly eyebrows, you could get one of these tools from Sephora. And mine's a little dirty, but um, I'm just going to... Take this and brush through my eyebrows to sort of comb them to where you want them. And then once you have them in a nice shape, um, don't put them in like a huge arch or anything. Like, I don't know if I can put my eyebrows in that. But don't shape it into a big arch because that's just not appropriate for fifth grade. And then you can put it in place with some clear brow gel. Thanks for watching, guys. Next is going to be a sixth grade makeup tutorial. So like, comment, and subscribe down below. And um, leave suggestions for what I should do after this series. Bye, guys.